All right, welcome back to another night of our Halloween horror movie marathon. Tonight we watched Bloody Reunion, a Korean film, and let's jump into it. Um, I'll start with the acting. I think actually I'm going to give it a four. The acting was pretty good here. Everyone was believable in their role. I mean, I thought everyone did pretty good. You know, they had emotion where they needed to. And... Yeah, I'm going to give it a three. Only because I don't know what it is with all the Asian flicks where they always do that crazy yelling. Uh, it's just what Asian people do. I don't, I don't know. know. It just doesn't work for me. It's just average. It was fine, but yeah, when they do that weird crazy yelling at the end of a sentence, they get all loud for nothing. I can leave that. <laughs> okay. Um, effects. I thought they were good. Yeah. You know, all the gore and everything when they killed a few people and the staples and everything. Yeah, it was good. I'm going to give that a four, too. Yeah, and there were some moments when I wish they didn't cut away. Yeah, but, I mean, the cutaways aren't the effects. The effects themselves still look good. Well, yeah. You can't penalize them for what they didn't show. It's You kind of want to, though. I mean, nowadays, movies <sighs> are starting to show a lot more. But that was a 2006 film. Yeah. I'm so, going to go with the four. I, I thought that they were good. It looks good. Everything they showed looked great. Yeah, I'll give it a four as well. I think I'm just being nitpicky because I wanted to see something that I didn't get to see. Um, story... I gotta go with three. Like, it wasn't a bad story. But it was just... I don't know. It was weird. Like, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. You know, it was the whole... At first, they're telling the story about how all these people died in the various ways, and then in the end, you find out that no, one person did it all themselves. And it was spoiler crazy. alert! All our movies are, or all our reviews are spoilers. They know at this point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But so, I mean, it was good. It was decent. It was an original enough story. It was something new, but it just wasn't great. It reminded me like a Asian clue, just less humorous and much more bloody. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it a two. It was decent, but I hate it when you watch a movie and come to find out in some surprise twist that none of that actually happened. Like, I want to see a movie and actually have the things that happen in the movie happen. Not in real life, but in the movie. Like, when I'm, when, like, they use, like, a dream. Mm -hmm. Like, someone's just dreaming this shit, and at the end of the movie they just wake up, and you're like, you just feel cheated. Mm -hmm. You know? I felt cheated with this twist, and I hated it. And <sighs> maybe it wasn't as bad though because it wasn't just hey I imagined all these things and they didn't happen. It was she was lying to the police so she didn't get arrested. Yeah, but it still didn't so happen. I mean, it just uh, it just it, I just felt cheated in that moment. And then it got confusing because I thought that he was posing as a she when she was really a she. She was a she the whole time. And yeah. just lied about making up another person. Yeah, I just didn't quite follow a lot of it, and it was, I felt cheated out in that twist reveal, so I just, I gotta give it a two. Alright. Um, and then last, Scare Factor, I'm gonna go with a one. I don't think they were trying to be a scary movie. I think you're trying to be Bert right now. <laughs> um, no, it was just, there wasn't a lot of scare. I think this was more of a gore fest. It was just meant to, you know, be bloody and extreme, and it wasn't necessarily trying to do scares. I'm gonna give it a three. Really? There was some there was some good creepy imagery. The little messed up kid, the the mask, and he was uh yeah, doing yeah, shoving the razor train. blades down the mouth of the that hot was water. Cool. That was that that was that that brought it up a couple of notches. Well, like I said, I I gave it to him for the effects because the gore and all that stuff was good, but as far as scare, it's just, I don't know, for me it didn't do it. Yeah. It wasn't crazy scary, but it had some good visual scary imagery and some good creep factor to it, so All right. All right, so overall, the movie gets a three. It's average. It's pretty much, I'd say that's where it belongs. It's okay. Like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. I mean, I don't know if I'd go out of my way to watch it, but if it's on and you happen to be there, I wouldn't turn it off. It's not a bad movie. It's just not amazing. I'd probably turn the channel, because coming in something like that would just be weird. Well, <laughs> I guess maybe if you start from the beginning, stick with it, but yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Um, not a bad one. It's right in the middle where it belongs. Um, 
we're just going to hold out and hope there's better ones later on. But, yeah, if, if you have to watch something, this isn't a terrible way to go. Yeah, Tyler, stay tuned for some more Halloween Horror Movie Marathon. He's referencing that he's the only one that watches this. Not counting the editor. Good night. <laughs>